Ronnie Ross is, has been like, like a big brother in this business, okay? He was a head coach a long time ago at Delaware, man, and we all looked up to him. Um, just, just as a younger black coach, that he got to be a head coach when he was a younger man was so cool to all of us. Um, so now that he's back as a head coach, that's just it puts a smile on your face because the first time he had this head coaching job, I believe he went to the tournament. Then the next year he didn't, and then he lost his job. Um, don't know all the particulars, but he was like a rising star. And we all had him up front for all of us. Like, yo, Mont did it. We could all do it. So now that he's back being a head coach, man, um, that puts a smile on my face. Um, he's really good at it. I know A&T is going to come up a whole bunch. Um, so I'm just, uh, it was cool to be able to compete against him because I looked up to him in this business for a long time. Um, senior day, I think it's great for the kids, for the families. It's not that cool for the coaches because you, you don't have uh, your routine, all right? You throw everything out the window. You're starting different guys. And, uh, the, like, I, I wasn't even in the building yet, and Ricky called my phone. He's like, hey, the team just came back in. And I usually get here at 1, and they were already sitting down for me to talk to them at 1. So it just throws you off a little bit. Um, but credit to these kids. Um, these guys really uh, – pulled together even though our staff was jumping on them a little bit more than we probably should have and then they settled down and we were able to have a solid game our defense picked up and then we were able to get away from them a little bit one thing before Steve um I wasn't sure who was starting today all right and I don't praise Xander all the time just he's my son I love him he knows how I feel about him but I came to the gym early this morning for our shoot around and usually he's already here, but he was still at the house. And then when he got in, he, he came up and he said, what are you doing with your starting lineup? And I said, um, seniors. And I said, I know we got more seniors than spots. And he goes, Dad, what, what do you think about starting Braden? <clears throat> and I said, well, that's who, who's not going to start. And he said, I'll be the senior that doesn't start. That was really cool. Okay, I, at first I wasn't sure if I would still do it, but I'm like, wow, that says a lot about who he is. Braden has been incredible on a daily basis. He comes in here and battles our guys every single day, outplays us once or twice a week. So for, for my son to understand the importance of that and for him to step up and say, why don't you let Braden start in my spot, that's, I, I, that one really hit me. So that's why we went with that particular lineup because he was going to be in. But I thought it was a great idea to start Braden after after the smarter rice uh, talk to his dad. See, I'm sitting up here with the two smart guys on the <laughs> team, and I'm in the middle, so I might be the smartest right now. I don't know. I was hoping I wasn't going to cry. I knew he wouldn't, but I thought my wife might have got a little shaky leg. But she was actually looking pretty good walking out there. Hair was blown. I was like, oh, wait, that's my girl right there. And uh, so that made me relax. When when they said his name, okay, that when Jack Holmstrom, that one got me a little bit because I coached his father. And Jack could have gone to any Ivy League school and, and – got all A's at that those schools and he and Ben chose here because of me and that one right there is like your son's an Ivy League student you send him to mommy your honor school can stand up against anybody king but that says a lot about who their family is the relationships that we built with his father and his mother since they were on the team that I coached and for them you know for him walking out there that one almost got me but then I just said don't look at Ben don't look at Ben. Don't look at Ben. So I kept it off of Ben, and then I was cool. And Nikita and Durant waiting in the same spot. No, and that, you know, Nikita and I talked yesterday, and he told me his aunt was coming, and, you know, Nikita's, Nikita's brother's dealing with that war. Like, we we sitting here, and it's like, oh, people, Republicans, Democrats, hey, whatever, people don't, I don't want to send the money, send the money. Nikita's brother, bomb hit right next to him the other day. His coat caught on fire. He was that close to losing his life. 
And Keita's over here playing ball. He's like, can I get you out of there? Because his brother volunteered. Keita was like, let's uh, come on. Some of his friends got out. His brother said, no, I got to protect the homeland. All right? And his big brother, his, his triplet brother is here playing ball, you know? And it's like, Yesterday, he talked to me for about 20 minutes just about that. There's been like two or three times where there was some things went off right next to his brother, and he's still here. You know, and Keita's trying to get him just to leave and come here. You know, but his brother said, man, nah, we can't do that. We, we got to stay and protect home. So, it, you know, a lot of people dealing with a lot of stuff. So when you see that, and then he said, my aunt is here. You know, she hasn't been home in a long time, but she's going to be here for me. She's so tight with my mom. And, it, you know, those type of stories people need to know. You know, this kid is dealing with this as he's trying to be our starting center with, with the coach jumping and yelling at him all the time. So these, these guys have been amazing, and you just get to put them out front on senior day. Yeah, I mean, it, there were a lot of emotions, obviously. Um, I've, I've lived here since I was, like, 10 years old, um, and, you know, before every game, I just I just think to myself how thankful I am that I get this extra opportunity um, and a chance to really represent like the, the city I grew up in, the school I grew up in, um, in a gym that raised me. Like I wouldn't have this opportunity without mom at the university. Um, taking take let, having my dad be the coach here, um, allowing me and my my family to kind of integrate into into the culture here and stuff. So. I could I couldn't be more thankful for for Mom's University. So it was it was incredible, and I'm super happy we were able to come away with a win. I don't know what it is because we <laughs> take we take half court shots before <laughs> every single like at every shoot around. I never make I never even get close. Never I, like ever. Know, ever. I've, I've made never, one I've all season. One yeah, me. I've made it one all season. I never get close, and then I take one during the game and make them, but. I guess that that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> you know, it was, it was incredible. It's going to be something I remember for the rest of my life. And, you know, just coming here and just having this family this whole time, it's, it's, it's been incredible. You know, just going to the places we went to, talking to the people I got to speak with, and all the lessons we've learned, people we've become family with, it's, it's been incredible. He was just showing everybody that the coach don't know what he's doing, not playing him all, because he can make threes all day long. Just put him in, give him a chance, King, and then he'll show you. And I, I, Jack has been so incredible, you know, just what he's done in the school, graduating three years, staying with us, um, and never, ever complaining. You know, I, I've known him probably the longest, and just never complaining. Like, I put him in, I don't put him in. I tell him I'm going to put him in and don't put him in. And he never, he has not one time been, like, mad at me or shown that he was mad at me. He probably should be mad at me. But he's a team guy, and he understands. And, you know, he got an opportunity today, and he showed you. Anytime you give me a chance, I'm going to be super ready, and uh, I'm going to make it work for you, Coach. So uh, I was happy for him. Those put some big smiles on my face. And... His, he, he celebrated on every one. You know what I mean? His dad's, his dad's gonna, his dad's gonna blame me for that too, because he blames me for his tattoos. He blames me for his nickname. He does not blame me for the graduating in three years and the four O. You know, he, I didn't have nothing to do with that. That was all Jack. But all the other things, he blames me. So, you know, he, he's hitting me, running down, doing. I was like, what? Well, I, I think our guys are, are obviously more comfortable home. Um, you always want to protect your home court. This is driving all of us crazy how we've been on the road. And I, I'll still tell you, we're, we, we count. We're, these two are grown, okay? But I got Boog, Abdi, Jarrett. All those guys are freshmen, okay? Then I got a grown man with Keita. Jack Collins is a sophomore, even though he seems like he's 40 because he plays so hard and does so many good things. And 
you truly have to learn how to win it on the road. And we got the big one earlier in the year, and we haven't, you know, we the other day, we, like, didn't even get off the bus. It was unbelievable to me at Towson, and we had incredible practices leading up to it. So I'm, I got to get them to just get lost in the game when we're on the road. I think guys think about numbers more on the road than we have at home. And if they just get lost in the game, that's when they play their best ball. And hopefully this last week they're going to get lost in the game twice and have a chance to, to win both of them. Mr. Hampton is a team that's playing better than Hampton. Oh, and Hampton, all you got to do is check. When Hampton sees Monmouth, they play their best game of the year every single time. Except when Jack, we get we got him out of there in the tournament last year. First time, Deuce was in here talking crazy, making every shot, and doesn't shoot it well. Then we went down there and we played him better, but they got us again. And then we got him in the tournament. So it's not going to be easy, but we have to be super solid and not get caught up in the antics of that we're at an HBCU and the music and the dancing and all the stuff that's going on outside <coughs> of the basketball court. From the beginning of the year till now, we've been having a better season than them. So now you got to be able to beat them on their floor. That's what it is. No, Jaden, and, and that's another thing to talk about. You know, Jaden has a heel bruise. Um, happened the other day in, uh, in, in practice, I think. He tried to practice yesterday. Um, I know we took him to the doctor. He, he, they did what the doctor could do for him. Um, and then he played, just watching him run yesterday, it was like, bro, you okay? So he was trying to tough it out. And I told him, man, just sit down for the rest of today. We'll need you more in the game than, than in practice. And then today he just wasn't dressed for the game at all. So he's just trying to get over that <laughs> heel thing. But Jaden's mom passed this week, you know, and that, that was the thing. The second person that we honored up on there was his mother, you know, and the, the different last name I, I don't think – people understood uh, they did a good job of saying who it was but Jaden lost his mom and uh, it's been real real heavy real heavy he has incredible grandparents incredible aunt and uncle and they all came up to make sure he was okay but um, you know just imagine he lost his mom this week and uh, our team has been incredible Xander and, and Jack and all the guys have really put their arms around him and uh, just let him know. I told him he could come stay at my house if he needed some time just to, you know, have that family feeling around him. And he said, Coach, I'm cool. But, you know, a lot of times these, these kids are going through stuff and we're just out there playing basketball and people don't know. You know, these guys go through a lot of things through these years and, and through these seasons. So say a prayer for Jaden's mom and his family because it's been a heavy week for all of us. You know, just coach is always talking all the time about how you got to stay ready, you know, and, you know, I got the opportunity today and, you know, first one we ran a play perfectly. DA came off the screen, came off the down screen, shot it. I was like, well, if this one goes in, the next one's going to go in. It went in, the next one went in. So just being when did, did you practice those celebrations? Like when you're it's, like, like I'm, what? I swear how, to God, I'm not that? a I'm not a celebrations guy. I've never been a celebration. Oh my God. I'm a point to the guy that passed me the ball kind of guy. And I don't know in the moment what happened, but <laughs> no, no, you were. I think Jarvis was talking to me from from Chicago. That, that's probably him and Jarvis are tight. So Jarvis probably watching was like, you better do something. <laughs>